<laughs> Knowing this, we're going to go to the nether and it's going to be like a specific I nether island, you know? Boxy Rainbow says, do you have magical crops? I do. Right now I just have basic stuff. I only have this one inferium seed plant growing right now. I haven't really put too much time into that because <laughs> honestly, once you get the initial uh, cobblestone and uh, actually just once you get the initial cobblestone together, by that point, it's like you got chickens and I'm loving the heck out of the chickens. The chicken, the chickens are, are my priority. Like I, I'm doing stuff with plants. But I'm also doing stuff mostly with chickens because I got them making coal. I've got them making gold, iron, redstone. I've got them making uh, sand, flint, wood, all kinds of stuff. That's a lot of essence. That's a lot of essence. That's good. I can make a, I can put a lot of coal into the pipes with that one. I'll put down the seeds, though, uh, and that as well. And this essence goes over here. I can't. I'm so sad that we weren't able to get this thing, the sorting machine going just quite today. I guess we could just do a test. All we have to do is make a hardened servo. It's the same thing as the regular servo, except with invarian guts. And if if we make that and it has more filter slots, then that is an option for us. That is that is an option. Where is my invar? I think I actually still have invar. Do I have invar? I know how to do this. Invar, double click. I do have invar ingots. Nice. So I just need that. Iron nuggets. I guess I'll just grab iron and some glass anyway. Uh, and then... Servo. Is there seriously an Invar chicken? There's seriously an Invar chicken. That's amazing. No, not the hardened glass. We just need regular glass. Red stoner. Okay, so if I were to drop this uh, on this one, for instance, and I were to right-click it, it does indeed have more filter slots. Oh. That's splendid. You know what this means. We don't need this fancy electric sorting machine. We don't need, arguably, any source of power for this? Wait, really? This thing just takes stuff out of an inventory depending on filters? Ah, that seems kind of broken. But knowing now, I, I can just get rid of this lengthy copper cable. That's nice. I could reuse that for other stuff. But... These servos, this has twice as many slots for filtering as the basic servo. So does that mean if I make a reinforced servo, what, what are the main benefits? Hmm. So the extraction rate is higher. The max stack size increases. Extraction rate for fluids is higher as well. Uh, but that doesn't really pertain to us. But it doesn't say anything specifically about filter slots. Still, though. Still, though, that's doable, because each of these servos has six slots, and each of the slots in the electric sorting machine had seven. So if we can just get the Electrum Ingot server together, the reinforced servo, we could just get rid of the electric sorting machine, and then we go right back to that dream. Right back to the dream. Putting crap in a box, and it going to the place it needs to go, never sorting all this business again. Never doing it again. Oh, hey, I forgot about our coal chickens. They were trying to breed the ultimate chicken. Yeah, see? We started off with 111 chickens, and now we got 323 and a 333. So we're just going to replace those. And then we would just add in some seed. I really should probably call the herd a bit, though. It's starting... I think I can start to feel it beginning to lag the game a bit. And we don't want that. We do not want that. All right, so these two are going to breed. I guess they're just going to be inbreeding, and they're going to be making good stuff. In the interest of no longer... Running out of space for chickens. I, pro I probably should start cooking some of the excess. I just feel really gross doing that these chickens They all have faces and Functions and you know different purposes and names even if the game would ever give me name tags, but I Kind of feel messed up killing them. I, I kind of don't like so. Yeah, I'll just I'll, for now I'll store that guy just in a box What do you say you made a five four five? All right replace that there you go Just, just make more children with your children Chickens are gross. They're cute, so they get away with it, but they're, they're pretty gross, you know? I think we can... We, I think we're at this point, you guys. It's 2019. I think we can, like, we can all sit down, put our hands calmly in our laps, and we can say chickens are gross, and we can still carry on with our day, I think. Uh, okay. That's pretty great. All that coal's just gonna go in there now. Uh, I guess I can get rid of these coal eggs. I don't know what's better, killing them or just letting them never hatch. If they're if they're in the egg and they're not being like grown though, they're not really there's just an egg. They're not quite the living thing just yet, I suppose. Because there's like literally nothing in there. 
no fertilization. But this is my head cannon right now. Okay, no fertilization. Just an egg. It's fine. It can fall into the abyss. These the skyworm will eat it, and everything will be fine. Now then, for an obsidian, uh, a portal to the Nether. I feel like we might as well keep all the dark stuff with the dark stuff. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Leopard heart says, "Let them fry, fly free into the void." <laughs> like just take them, place them, and nudge them over the edge, and watch them slowly flutter into the distance. That actually sounds really poetic, but it also sounds really messed up. So I'm not going to do that. I am, however, going to make another portal. Is this the Minecraft version where they finally start letting us make portals in different shapes? Because the typical Nether portal has a four-wide block, and it's not going to be symmetrical in this temple, and that's just going to drive me insane. <sighs> I'd better be able to make any portal of any size, or I will lose it. I will. I will ask Mo Jeb. Is is Jeb still heading Minecraft? I will ask Jeb. What the hell? I will be like Jeb. Jeb, my good boy, why? Jeb, why? So here, let's just, I don't know. Oh wait, that was my obsidian I was going to use for the... Whoops. Any more obsidian? No? I need more? Great. There's a lot more monsters in those in those pens. I suppose when I walk by them, I should be like being efficient and getting them as I pass by, but don't worry about it. Obsidian. Only four? Get more apples. Ooh, two stacks. That is gorgeous. There we go. That's what I thought. That's the amount of that's the amount of, of obsidian. Oh, there was more in there. <laughs> Whoops. I also need more cobblestone. I need more enclosure space. Okay, don't run yet. And go. Nice. That feels good. Okay. Hmm. Benny Jet says, I hear that chickens swim. We should test different swimmable materials. Lava, poison, water. Why do you list water last? That should be the first thing you list. That's really scary. Okay, one more in, and we'll just go ahead and put the portal up against this back wall. Uh, yeah, okay. I would love it if we could make this portal any size. I feel like the last time I was playing Minecraft with Lily... Uh, and I was like, hey, Lily, guess what you can do? You can make a portal any size nowadays. And she tried and it didn't work. It just, we still, we had to go back to making it the regular size. So I don't know exactly which edition of Minecraft that is true of anymore. But, uh, yeah, let's give this a go, shall we? Let's hop down. Let's just make ourselves a little stepping ladder if we need to. I should probably go ahead and make an actual back to this so no one falls into the void when they try to go to the portal. That would be good. I think that would be smart. People not falling into the void. That'd be really, yeah, okay, cool. Cool. Uh, here we go. And the magic. Yes! Yes! Oh, thank goodness. Progress! It worked. Nope, not ready yet. Not ready yet. I gotta fill in this. It looks... Oh, you're an actual, like, blocking entity? Stop it. Get Get out of here. Quit it. Here, I'm gonna block you up. Get it. How do you, how do you extinguish this thing? I can't remember how to extinguish this thing. I thought you could just hit it and it would stop being there. Whatever. Whatever. I just need to fill this in because it looks stupid. There we are. Ah, oh, beautiful. Symmetry and all of its glory. I kind of think that I might die and I don't want to bring valuable things in here, but I'm impatient, so here we go anyway. Here we go, hopefully not dying. And loading terrain and let me guess, we're on an island, aren't we? Oh, you cheeky butt. You just brought me to a, a three of three by two island into the nether, haven't you? There's nothing here. There's not a ghast, there's not a pig man, there's not a netherrack or a soul sand. Okay, well that's a bust. Yeah, right, what a troll! Cool. Well, that was... that's a thing. I guess we'll just have that be a scenic portal in the background. See, look, it looks very nice. It looks... it's a, it's a nice aesthetic. And maybe if the game glitches itself or 
the way pigmen spawn through the portal is not just simply the pigmen that literally walk through the portal. Maybe we'll get some spawns. I don't know. Maybe we'll get some spawns. Whatever. That was very stupid, though. I think we can all agree on that. That was very stupid. Oh, look! A party! It's a whole group of skeletons! It's so nice to see all of you together. It's good. Y'all should do meetups. Y'all should get together and support each other. It's not easy being a skeleton in today's world. Everyone's telling you to stop killing. I know. I know. Do you mind giving me your soul? Thanks, I really- Oh, <gasps> boxes. Oh my god, I got a ore crate. Ore crate? What's inside? Inferium ore. Hey, that's uh, that's not something to, to just sneeze at. Here's a, Here goes a common chest. This one gives me a lime chicken egg. Lime chicken. Wait, I've never... I don't have a lime chicken egg. What does that... What does the lime chicken do? Now, hold on a second. What do you... What do you give? Lime chicken egg. Throw it to have a chance to spawn or a lay item lime chicken egg. I guess I'll just go put this in a nest and see what comes of it. I do, I like I said, I do need to like be a little more careful about what chickens I put down because I'm gonna pretty quickly start running out of, of room. Look at this, I'm already running out of room over here. Every mod that you add to your list of things you're working on, this happens. This is just going to get more and more cluttered. <laughs> Excuse me. And it's going to be chaos. All right, what's over here? What's in door number two? Of course, yeah, you were too quiet. I figured. I, I figured. Oh, you butt. Okay. Face my platinum sword. And then also the, the soul one. Very good. Very good. Gunpowder is nothing to sneeze at, after all. I mean, I probably shouldn't sniff it. You know, I don't know what happens if you do that, but it's probably not going to be pretty. Hey, there we go. We got some LP. I just need to grab my stone so I can make use of this blood. It sucks the way that it leaks. That, like, that I really, really dislike. Because I've here I've got... 2015 liter points of blood or whatever the heck LP is supposed to stand for and when I put it in here It's just all gonna start leaking out and it has to go like quickly They they go. Oh, right. I have to pick that up even though it was in the middle of a recipe. See this is very inefficient Very inefficient Are you becoming a thing? You got to tell me if you're becoming a thing Okay, good and next one quick before the blood runs out Oh, no, I don't think that's gonna be enough blood. I'm gonna have to get- that's gonna be just barely not enough blood. I'm gonna have to use the stinking dagger if I don't want to waste a bunch more blood. Oh, no, it worked! <gasps> I don't have to prick my fingy. Well, that's good. That's rather good news, I think. Yeah, very nice. Always a good day when you don't have to prick your fingy. Now I've got blank slates. I got blank slates galore. And I mean, I got three, but like, it's all- it's all perspective, okay? And compared to before, I am now just drowning in blank slates. And what that means now is I can finally make this stupid speed rune. Which is made by what? Just crafting two blank slates, sugar, a blank rune itself, which takes t also takes two blank runes. Why do I always forget this? And I need more blood. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's no way. There's no way, you guys. You just gotta- I just need more- I need more monster huts. I'm gonna have to set up more monster huts. I think I'll do that on my own. I'll, I'll just do that, like, I don't know, just- just sometime. When I'm just on my own. Pulverizer can make Inferium Essence into four. How much does it commonly break into on its own? The Tectonic Initiator can break it into six? Well, that's clearly the better thing, isn't it? Well, okay, I'm, I'm curious now, just for the sake of science, though, how much do I typically get when I break Inferior more on its own? Two. Putting that in the Pulverizer would have been good. That would have been the preferable thing there. Okay, that's fine. How are the inbreedings going? Five, five, five? That's good, that's good. Switch them out. Soon we will have good chicken. And this chicken, imagine a 10 out of 10 out of 10 chicken. 10, 10, 10 chicken. It's gonna give us coal constantly. Okay, it's already not like an extremely valuable commodity, so it's going to be growing pretty quickly as it is, but it's going to give us that stuff very fast. It's very exciting. Hello everyone, welcome to the Cup of Joe Show. It's your regular old day of Minecraft, it's your regular old 
Skyblock Minecraft Odyssey, and I've done a couple things to make things just a little bit better. Namely, as I'm sure you can immediately see, and correct me if I haven't already just flat out shown you this, I'm pretty sure I haven't, but I, I don't know. I go into trances when I start doing tech stuff. It was a simple fix, this. It didn't even require a source of power, which was kind of a disappointment, but, but you know, it's just a chest, and it's just servos, and these reinforced ones are great. They have a filter of nine. Uh, but it's still not enough for what the chickens lay, which is a bit, it's a disappointment. I'm just trying to make it to where I can do anything. And then I just walk over and I and I right click the chest and I drop it in and then everything goes bada boom. Let me, let me just give you a little, a little example here uh, of what works and what doesn't. Look at this, I think I'm starting to get too many chickens, you guys. Like, I think that Minecraft can handle this. I think that, I think Minecraft is going to be okay, but I don't know. It, it seems to kind of sputter a bit here and there. Hey, anonymous chair! Thank you for the six bits. Uh, I guess I'll just pick up all this this rando stuff. I guess we should probably put more hay bales in and stuff, but I don't know. I, I'm just kind of letting. I'm taking a backseat to the chicken stuff, and this this chest thing with the servos is starting to kind of feel more of like a band aid fix. If I'm being honest, uh, it's starting to feel more of a like I should find a, some like a better system. Okay, watch this. I'm gonna just drop all this in there, and then ideally, it's just gonna kind of take care of it. See, as long as there's one servo that has a filter item for it, it'll all go through. See, that stuff's go into the 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 like the the ore chest. The other stuff's go into the natural chest, and if, if the sand and the glass is going to the buildy chest, it's not gonna take dirt though, because again, I just don't apparently I don't have enough room for that. Really? Wait, where's my? Where's the one that takes all of the buildy stuff? There? Yeah, you have room. Take dirt. Come on, you dunce. Okay. I got a bone white chicken and an iron chicken in here, and I was trying to make something, and I don't I don't remember what it was. I'm pretty sure it was silver, because uh, there were some things I was trying to research. Bone white, iron, and... Ah! It was silver. It was totally a silver chicken. I'll probably breed this later, because I think I've already demonstrated what chicken breeding is to you. Probably one too many times. You know, like when someone is... They're trying to show you what they're into, and you're like, okay, cool. And then they do it a little too much. And you start to get a really a, a full grasp of their interest in breeding chickens. I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to give you those vibes. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take care of all that later. Ooh, hey, Purple Ray and subscribe with Twitch Prime. Thank you so much. And they, in doing so, they shared five emotes with the, with the community. Holy crap! I got a snowman emote. Oh, I got a snow. I got a freaking snowman sweating emote. That's amazing. That's really cool. Thank you so much. All right. Anyway, so for the last time, I'm just gonna drop this all in there. And away it'll go. Yeah, there's not enough room for lime dye in, in my filters, apparently. What an absolute... What an absolute mess that is. Here I was, thinking, I'll put in all this work and it'll be the end-all, be-all solution to the chicken problem. But no, there's never going to be a solution to the chicken problem. I'm I'm fairly convinced. I guess I should go put some, some stuff inside of the, uh, inside of the old generators, eh? Because if I don't, I'm never going to get myself some beast coins. Look, you want to see how many beast coins I have? It's not, it's not pretty. Uh, it's, oh wait, actually, that's not bad. 17,557, that, that's actually pretty good. I'll, I'll take that. Ha having said that, though, it would never hurt to have more. There you go, yeah. What are you guys up to? It's kind of weird the way you, uh, the way you, like, check your machines for the first time when loading a world, and it kind of, like, hiccups. Don't like it. I don't appreciate it. What I do want to use these Bitcoins, though, for is buying loot crates. I know. Let's buy some loot crates. Oh, it's so quiet in this game. I did find out though that the royalty free music I was paying for it wasn't actually like, I, I'm not allowed to use it on this channel. So <laughs> I need to make a new royalty free playlist. Hold on. Do I do I have a full royalty free, free playlist? I'm pretty sure I have. No, wait a second. No, oh, it's funny. I have a license to play music on this Twitch channel and play music on the virtual pet channel, but not on the Kakujo channel, unless I pay another $15. It's, uh, I'm sure I have, like, a fully royalty-free playlist. No? Is that, is it, I guess not, okay, that's fine. I guess we'll just have to appreciate the silence of Minecraft. That's fine, because then when it plays a song, it's special, right? It makes it, it makes it better. All right, I just wanted some, like, epic trap, frick, like, dubstep music so we could open these loot crates too. It feels wrong to not open loot crates to douchebag music, but here we go. I'll take, uh, I'll take 20. I can't, so I'll take 17. I'm just gonna spend all my Bitcoins, okay? I spent all my Bitcoins, I'm sorry, Beast Coins. I don't want to get sued by whoever owns Bit Bitcoin. I don't know if anyone owns Bitcoin. I don't know how Bitcoins work. Uh, but I, apparently I don't need the loot crate opener. I think this might be for, like, an assembly line kind of situation, but I can just shift right click. And then, what? Oh, I opened all of them at once. Did not... 
did not know that was going to happen. Okay. Shy KGB says 17k. How did you get so many? Well, like it, like in between, you know, this this stream and the last, I had just been working on this and letting things roll, and then yeah, I'd, I put a whole bunch of coal into this, and this beast coin miner is slowly harvesting me small amount, small numbers of beast coins. But I guess it added up. So let's get these in a row and let's have a look at what we got. We've got common, or uncommon and organic. So not epic, not the really super good rare ones, but in organic, sometimes you can get some pretty cool stuff. So let's open up one of them. Cocoa beans. Yeah, okay. Next one. Rubber sapling. It's not even the right rubber sapling. All right, let's move on. Let's just just get the just get the commons out of the way, shall we? Snowball. Tiny tiny charcoal torch. Cactus green chicken egg. Raw fish. Beetroot seeds. Now that's actually nice. Cuz I don't think I have beets growing in my garden, and I don't know if you know this about me, but I'm actually IRL unironically super into beets. I love them. It's not a music joke. I actually have beets growing outside in front of my my apartment in a little in a little little container. I forgot what they're called. Planters? I never know what to call them. Because if you call them pots and you say I grow I go pot plants, people look at you. Not as much as they used to now because now that's legal in Oregon. But it's not what I'm about. Okay, I guess I'll just put that in there so I have it on record. Also with this ch tiny charcoal. Like what what? There's, I guess there's no harm in. Oh, I can't do that. No harm in having this stuff just in record, I guess, because now I can, uh, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but, uh, it's right up there at the top, folks. It's 23,412 snowballs. Don't mess with me. It's Christmas time. Don't, I, I could mess you up right now with how many snowballs I got. All right. Uh, ore crates. These are just going to have ores in them. So, platinum ore. That's kind of nice. Pyrite ore, copper ore, iridium ore, sapphire ore, and silver ore. Those are all actually pretty, pretty cool. In fact, yeah, I, I think I was trying to get silver so I could get some stuff going with the... Actually, let me use the pulverizer. This thing is far superior. It's better than the macerator because the macerator just gives you the dust times two, which is great. But this one gives you dust times two plus a small chance to get an extra thing. So it's just nice. All right, and last but not least, the uncommon chest would be black wool. How is that uncommon? Iron chest transporter. Oh, that's cool. Oh my god, that's amazing. I love those kinds of mods. I remember a long time ago, back when I played in another mine, uh, Minecraft mod pack... There was like a dolly where you could pick up any chest and move it. And that was my favorite thing because I hate moving chests. Kitchen counter from the mod cooking for blockheads. What am I going to do with that? What am I? Is it stores ingredients for recipes? Is it just for recipes? Because if you want me to game, I think the game's trying to inspire me to make a, a, a kitchen for moles. Here I go. Kitchen count. Wait, can I just put anything in there? Yeah, I thought it was going to be like four. I thought it was going to be just food, but no, it's, it's not anything specific. Okay, well... We have that. That was cool. I'm glad I... What did we get that was good out of that? I guess the, the ores. I probably could go ahead and, and store this. All of this. Iridium ore is 16,000 EMC. Iridium ore is like... Wow. That's got to be something special. But, yeah, again, just it's, it's just good to have that on the... Right, hold on. I just want to do a test. If this crashes my game and we never see each other again... I just want you all to know that it's been real. Okay? Oh god. Oh, I'm so heavy. What do I have? I have jump boost, mining fatigue, hunger, and slowness 3. Because I'm I'm carrying this giant thing. It's so funny the way, like, this game really, really emphasizes the whole if you do hard work you get hungry thing. I don't know why that's such a forward concept to me. Maybe I just haven't worked hard enough before, or maybe I eat so constantly that I just never notice the hunger, but... I don't know, I don't like lift a couch and go, boy oh boy, I sure could use a, a Carl's Jr. classic. I, I don't really ever say that. Alright, you, you just go in there, I guess. Uh, and then the black wool. I'll, I'll just put that there. I guess I don't need animal nets, because today, what I really would like to do is I'd, I'd really, first of all, I'd like to throw this egg into the abyss. Sorry. It's fine. The, they pr basically hatch by throwing them, so... Or at least there's a small chance of them hatching. Maybe that's why there's only a small chance of them hatching when we throw them, because we're throwing them. And only the absolute strongest chicken survives that. A baby chick- like, that's- that's actually quite a trial. I don't think I could go through that. Don't throw me! Don't throw me, please. Uh, I'm a- I'm a grown man, but I- I don't- if- I couldn't even handle that. And to think that a chicken baby could, that's incredible. Let's still do some thumbcraft. Blood magic was kind of like grossing me out, and I didn't like the whole like self harm thing. It's just kind of I don't know. Feels kind of dark, and I don't know where the rest of it's going. If anyone else here is like a blood magic pro, and they can tell me with 
with honesty that the rest of it doesn't involve me freaking cutting myself, then maybe, yeah, we'll try it out, because it looks like it's got some cool stuff in it. But otherwise, I've got a quest to turn in in Thomcraft. We can turn in because we have observated the arcane infusion, the arum, and the precantatio. And in doing so, I now get to do a wizard voice again. My experiments have become successful. I have been able to infuse simple objects with essentia, but the process is complex, difficult, and dangerous. I need to find a way to simplify it before I can truly delve into all the possibilities it holds. The experiments did have some practical results as well. I have also discovered a fabric that is soft, supple, and easy to enchant. I have designed patterns for a set of clothing made from this fabric. It will not only be comfortable and stylish, but while worn, it will reduce the V-cost of certain types of stuff. Cool. Okay. So, enchanted fabric is just any color wool, it looks like. Uh, plus, uh, surrounded by strings on an arcane workbench, and it cost 5 V. Still don't really know where we're getting V from. I, I have a feeling that this map just kind of gives you V, because I think in normal Minecraft you're supposed to find it from a more natural source. I don't remember. I don't- I have the vaguest approximate knowledge of it, and it's just terrible. But this is the Thaumaturge's robe. Uh, it gives you plus one armor toughness and three armor. So it's not like that strong, but like, why would a robe do that? Unless you were like a good wizard, I guess. Uh, but the V discount is real, okay? The V discount matters. Hero number zero says V is from the environment in normal Minecraft 2, different chunks of different amounts. Okay, so it's just a passive thing? Okay, because I haven't played Minecraft in, in several updates, and I could have sworn a while back you actually had to go... Oh, yeah, yeah, there was a Thomcraft version where you had a wand, and you actually had to go gather different uh, the different forms of V, like fire and water and air and earth and all that stuff. I'm glad to know that that's not the case anymore, because that was grindy that was like grind.com but also let's discover aromancy we have to what we have to things that need to be discovered visit the lower lowest depths of the world visit the highest peaks you can find probably not going to be able to do that one seeing as how we're stuck on an island up in the sky uh i don't think i can go any lower or higher i just want to assume that but maybe the quests can point me in a different direction because this right here on the left side is what uh the skyblock is wanting us to do as far as Thomcraft goes. It's not asking us to do anything particularly insane. It wants us to make the Everfull Urn, the Caster's Gauntlet, the Thymic, the Th Thymic, the Thymic Diabotubatora, Runic Matrix, etc. etc. Why would I want to make pickaxe of the core? Pickaxe of the core. <laughs> Didn't I do a Minecraft series a long time ago where I actually, I actually put core's texture like on the pickaxe? Because it was literally the pickaxe of the core. It's been a long time, guys. I miss Core. I hope he's doing okay. See, I don't know. I don't know how we can do that one. Uh, but anyway, crafting objects of power with V has opened a whole new world for me. Yet I am un not satisfied. There must be a way of manipulating the aura directly. A way to draw V from the very air itself and mold it to my will. I should study the world around me and travel to its edges. There I will learn what I need. Uh, yeah. Okay. So there's no hints there. That's just yeah. Might not be able to do that since we're on an island. But celestial observation might have something for us because we have reached observation levels necessary to complete this task. Here we go. Measuring the same body or quadrant of the sky more than once a day will not give the new insights. Doody dude. Oh, we already read that. Uh, did I learn anything? Did I? Hmm. So eventually we might have an ability to extract individual crystals without destroying the entire cluster. That's good. That's good to know. El Naso, hey, welcome. Yeah, I love Thomcraft too, especially once I actually get like a hang of what the heck I'm doing, you know? Yeah, hero number zero says, yeah, it's a passive thing. And the V slowly regens to the amount of chunk gen with when used. So hopefully they manually, since these maps are basically created maps, uh, hopefully they, you know, gave it a fair amount of, of gen, you know? Okay, all right. Uh, so. I guess we should just pick a thing and go for it, because Thomcraft doesn't really seem to be giving me much direction beyond alchemical ma metallurgy. Metallurgy. Oh, okay. You know what we need to do? We need to spend some time at our desk studying, which is like the worst thing you could say to someone like me. I don't like it. I don't want to study. Here I go. Two cards. You perform some random experience to see if something can be discovered. Gain 15 to 13 progress in a completely random category, but then there's reactions. Which it looks like it requires a permutatio crystal and a precantatio v crystal. Wait, what? What do you say? Studying the reactions between two different types of v should prove beneficial. You should study what happens when permutatio essentia reacts with precantatio. Gain twenty five alchemy. There's also a chance you will gain one inspiration. The, um, see, it's a thing though. 
I, I swear I need those. I don't know if having them nearby is enough, because sometimes that works. Well, anyway, just in case, do I have that? Oh, wait, no, I don't have those crystals anyway. Wait a second. It's just talking about V. Can I, can I select that? No? Okay, maybe I just don't have the ability to make those crystals yet. So we'll just take experimentation. It looks like we're getting 25 points or 35 points in fundamentals. Don't I already have a lot of points in fundamentals, though? Hmm. Channel Census Essentia. You set up a simple experiment to examine what happens when you channel census during infusion. I don't have census with me. I don't. I haven't even begun work on files and sorting stuff into. And I pray. Oh my God! Do I pray that they made the the Essentia thing simpler in this version of of Thomcraft because it was a thing. It was a whole thing before. Uh, just just do some more experimentation. Uh, wait. She just gave me oh some aromancy. We need that. We need some aromancy discovery anyway. We got three more draws here. Concentrate with mortis. Why am I suddenly getting these? I guess it's it's the game's subtle way of saying I can't just sit here and study stuff forever and then become a wizard. I have to I have to actually like make stuff and progress. That's that's fair. So really we can only take inspired, right? Yeah, I can, I can only take inspired. In spite of the, of the progress you've made so far, your mind explores paths you have not considered before. You gain twenty eight fundamentals. That's so much fundamentals. That is just so much fundamentals. It's amazing. Uh, channel metallum. I don't. You take some time to make a detailed measurements of various types of essentia and potential V they contain. Gain fifteen infusion progress and one bonus draw. It's too bad though because I'm out of inspiration. So we're gonna have to take our our things. We got sixty four percent fundamentals, eighteen percent aromancy, fifteen percent arcane infusion, and we're gonna complete this theory and it's gonna count toward things. What what did it count toward? Did you do my? Oh, wait, there's other tabs.